I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles, and Belle is helping me today. Hey guys! <laughs> it's actually Brooklyn. <laughs> it's March, which means that Beauty and the Beast is coming out. We've been waiting for a year. I we have our tickets so for the night it opens. Excited. We are ready. And possibly even more exciting news than Beauty and the Beast is that Brooklyn! and Bailey just released their first original song called Dance Like Me. You can check it out by clicking the I button right here and we will have all the information, but what do you have to say about it, Brooklyn? We love the song and we just hope you guys love the song. Del helped us design the song by picking elements of it and we put it in and we crafted it all around those elements and we just hope that you guys love the song and you can check it out by clicking the information button right there. Yes, we've had it for a while. We've been keeping it secret, but it's finally out. You guys can check it out and we love it so much. It's already doing really well. So be sure to click the I button and we'll have also a link in the description box. And on top of all of that, Brooklyn and Bailey are also doing a giveaway over on their channel. So be sure you click that link in the description box as well too. So now let's go on to teaching you how to do the bell ponytail, which I think turned out so amazing. She it wears this so good. in like the village scene, yes. you know, when she's like in her chill clothes and she looks we were like, like she's stalking just... the internet for oh, pictures. I've seen all the and trailers. Her, like what outfit pictures. About? Yes, so it looks so good. On to the Beauty and the Beast bell ponytail. Okay, now to create Emma Watson's version of the Beauty and the Beast hairstyle, what we're gonna do is start by parting it just ever so slightly off, like not quite in dead center. Brooklyn prefers it like this anyway. Then we're gonna create those beautiful little swoops that Belle always wears. So I'm gonna take kind of a section of hair. You can see that I'm not pulling all the way down to her ear, I'm just sort of taking the top of her hairs right here. And I'm going to lay them sort of flat, make sure they're smooth. This is where you can use a little bit of dry wax if you need to, to kind of help shape and mold that hair. And you can see I've already kind of added curl, so we're just gonna flip it right there, and I'm gonna pop a bobby pin in. Now this bobby pin won't stay forever, we're just kind of helping hold that little shape right there while we continue to work on the hair. Okay, when you have just set the pin sort of where you want it, I'm gonna repeat on the other side, and you'll understand what I'm doing here better in just a second. So again, I'm just gonna pick up a little section of hair, kind of go down to her ear. Make sure I leave a little hair out, because that's the way Emma wears hers. Or Belle, I should say, the way Belle wears hers, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Again, smooth it down. And again, I've got a curl kind of going away from her face. That's the shape I want. So we're just going to take a bobby pin and put it right about where I want that to flip. Okay, now that we have piece one and two, we wanna sort of just leave those alone. We're gonna pick up a section right here in the center, just in the crown only, just the top bit of her hair. And pull that back. You can see I'm just mostly finger combing. It's because I want to leave like texture in there. I wanna leave fullness. I don't want it too tight. I'm gonna get an elastic, and when I have it mostly smoothed down, like I don't, I don't want flyaways. Let's see, kind of comb that in. I'm gonna put an elastic right here. And then I'm gonna go back up and just make sure this is soft and loose and really pretty. Okay, when you like the positioning of that, then you're going to make a little hole in the middle and do our favorite little flip and just tuck it up and through, pull the hair through. That's gonna give you a twist. Like that. When we have a nice pretty little twist with our hole, then we're gonna go back to this side piece. We're gonna take it, just leave the bobby pin in it for now, we're gonna take this piece of hair. Now you see that there's a hole right here, but I need to create another hole up here just a little bit farther. So I'm just gently kind of reaching my fingers through to make just a little bit of a hole right here. And I'm gonna take that up and through and pull it through. So that gives us one nice little loop right there. Now I'm gonna take the same piece of hair and go through the center loop right here and put it through the hole. 
and then just let the hair fall right there for now. Eventually we'll loosen this all up so it looks all pretty, but I'm gonna repeat on this side first. So I'm creating another hole. I'm just gonna pull the hair up and through, and then I'm gonna go to the center piece and pull that through the same hole too. Okay, now this is where the tweaking begins, just a little bit. We wanna make sure this gets shaped all perfectly before we move on. And this is more personal preference. So I'm gonna go back and remove this bobby pin at this point, and that allows me to keep that shape a little bit. I'm gonna go in, in here and loosen so that they blend a little bit better together, but I'm still kind of keeping that bellish swoop that we so appreciate. Repeat on the other side. Okay, when you finish tweaking and you get this all set just the way you like it, then you scoop the rest of the hair up. Make sure you leave those wispies in place. Kind of finger comb it all back into a low ponytail. Take another elastic and secure it all together. And again, we're just loosely finger combing this hairstyle is meant to be kind of loose and soft. When you get this in place, then you create another hole right through the middle. Just use your fingers. You're gonna flip the whole ponytail inside out through that hole. And then again, you kind of have to just fidget till you like the way the hole looks. You can pull that a little tighter So that you can't see any giant air between the sections. And then you finish it off by tying a pretty little blue bow, or yellow I suppose, depending on what you want. And you have Belle's little hairstyle. Okay, let's do our final spin on Belle. Eek, I think it looks so good. So cute. Do you love it? Yes. I mean, I haven't seen it yet, but. <laughs> I'm so excited to see the movie. Hey, don't forget you guys can click right over here if you want to find the link to order their song or find it on Spotify or anything like that. We'll all be right here, so make sure you go check it out. I love your song. Oh, thank you, you guys. It's so good. I'm so proud of my girls. I'm, I'm so thrilled that it dropped, and I was, it's just such an exciting process. All right, we'll see you guys next week. Bye, you guys.